I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. You guys probably remember how I was talking about the Tripstead and ebook and how it was going to be for you guys to buy over on my payhip. Now, I realized that since Christmas, I really have not done any videos for my more experienced crowd. So with that being said, I'm happy to announce that my ebook is going to be available for free over here on YouTube. Everything I was going to show for you guys to pay for on PayPal, I'm going to release it for free. Now, this is sort of my way of saying Merry Christmas to you guys, all the guys that have been faithful for me throughout the year. This is going to be my best ebook yet. And you want to start in this episode, episode number one. I'm going to break down the first two plays or three plays. Let's see how it goes. And then the next couple of episodes, I will release them within the coming days. Or maybe I plan on finishing this ebook in the next two weeks. So bear with me until then. If you don't want to miss that, then please subscribe to the channel and hit this video with a like if you appreciate me showing you guys this probably best passing offense in the game. It's debatable, Gun Bunch is good, but I think Trip Side End is, if not number one, at least number two. So if you guys are excited for that, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, you can, of course, contact me on my socials. Also, I'm thinking about switching to Facebook uh, rather than Twitch uh, for my stream. So let me know how you feel about that in the comments. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first off, I want to make sure th uh, to explain to you guys uh, what playbook I'm in. I'm in the Las Vegas Raiders office right now. If you strictly want to run trips that end, Las Vegas is the way to go. I feel like they are just better than all the other trips that ends, and they are just more flexible. Now, with that being said, there are also good trips that ends in, let's say, the Bills or the Patriots. The Patriots, especially, they have a lot of other formations such as split close, such as a slot offset, such as U trips. And just in general, they are very flexible. But if you strictly want to go trip side end, Las Vegas is the way to go. Now, talking about personnel, we want a gunslinger quarterback. Aaron Rodgers right here in the regular teams, he's just amazing. He's going to sling the ball. He's going to find people open. We're going to have a whole lot of uh, fun if we have a gunslinger quarterback with high throw power. Also, we want a backfield master running back. In Ultimate Team, what I recommend you guys to get is Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush, he is really fast. He gets that backfield master for 1 AP, and you will be good to go. And the other thing is we want George Kittle. Uh, somebody that can get uh, tight end, not tight end apprentice. Uh, what is it called? Hmm. I think actually might be tight end apprentice, but I'm not sure. Anyways, the chemistry that will, or the ability that will allow you a uh, tight end to get crossers and corner routes. That's what we want on him. And if we can, get 90 medium route running. I have tied Heap in that position. I have him in my Arizona Cardinals theme team. But someone like Jermichael Finley, he only has 83 speed, but he has 90 medium route running. So if you are balling on a budget, get Reggie Bush and Jermichael Finley. And if you want a cheap gunslinger quarterback, just look, just get Josh Allen, his 90 overall card. So 89, power him up to his 90, and then you'll be good to go. So these are the three players you need. At wide receiver, all you need is speed. That is pretty much it. Let's now talk about the audibles you want. PA shot post. That is supposed to be one of our audibles. And now inside zone, that's a must. We need a run in this playbook. Then when we switch verticals, this is really where your personal preference comes into play. I like PA counter go, but you can also go with X spot. Or you could go with curl flat and then PA slot corner go with something like PA counter go or go inside cross. It really is just my personal preference. I'll show you all the plays going forward. What I do, and what I do is uh, this. I, I want instead of curl flat, I want PA counter go there. And I want to have curl flat. Uh, where is it? There is it at. In the R1 spot. Now we're going to come out in double in sale and PA shot post. Those are going to be the plays I'll break down in this episode. And I always come out in double in sale. Double in sale is one of the most flexible plays out of this formation. And it is a play that you can run on pretty much any defense. So that is going to be the play that I always come out in. And then I can audible to all the other plays. You never want to come out in PA shot post, inside zone, PA kind of go or curl flat. Or whichever your audibles are. Because this now, if I come out in uh, double in sale, I can choose of five plays at the line of scrimmage. 
if I choose one of my audibles, then I'm only gonna have four plays to uh, at my disposal. So that's why I want to come out in Dublin sale overs. Now, I'm talking a lot. You can see uh, Dublin sale has 10.3 average yards for me, which is amazing. Uh, it is very flexible, so this means that I can run it on a lot of coverages now. On defense, I'll just quickly have to set up my defense. And this is kind of like the play that I always come out in to start every game. I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, and yeah, let's just come out in cover three. Cover three sky, why not? I'll move the wall back a bit, and then we will be ready to go. The first setup is going to be really simple, and this is pretty much the play that I run start off every game in trips that end. I want to streak Thomas. I'm not going to explain to you guys how to put hot routes out there on the wide receivers. This is a very advanced offense. So if you guys want to run that, you should learn how to do that first. I'm not going to explain any of the basic things. And against cover three, if I see one high safety, I put Jones on the drag and then motion him across. Now the first read is always going to be to the flat. First read is going to be to the flat. Second read is going to be to the tight end corner. And this is one thing that I want to point out. I'm not even, even going to motion across right here. But you need so many guys to cover these two routes. It's incredible. What I have found to work is something like put this guy right here in the hard flat. And then, man, uh, the curl flat up on him. But even then, that's so much attention that you have to uh, pay to these two. Uh, routes and even now you can see how I can fit that in with a pass lead outside. So this is a really difficult uh, uh, Thing to guard for your opponent. Let's just pretend however that it is covered and against cover three once again This is our setup streak drag motion across snap the ball and now we can hit this drag right here Or if we want to wait a little bit longer, we could have hit the corner Generally one thing that I noticed about myself is that I threw a lot of picks early on because I didn't get the timing or understand the timing on the corner out and this now means that if I snap the ball I sometimes am too passive and don't throw that corner out enough that corner out is absolutely deadly you guys it is deadly it's gonna be a pain in the ass to stop let's talk about how to run this against cover 2 now against cover 2 I just streak I don't motion over you don't have, you don't have to do that now if I wait a long time or long enough you will see damn he made he made an absolute hell play right there. So I'll try this again. Maybe against cover two if I have this high zone coverage guys out there. 99 speed, 99 zone on all of my DBs right there. Um, maybe they just play it a little bit better. But now you will see if we put a smoke screen out there on the outside receiver. Now we can get that open. So just to recap, this is one of the bread and butter plays of this formation for me. Against cover two, we want the smoke screen. And against cover three, we want a drag and a motion across fairly simple now one thing that i have kind of gotten to work lately is a cover three beater out of this and i want to show this to you guys because this is one of one of the cover three beaters that that's actually very low key so you want to smart route hopkins you want to put thomas on a streak i'm not gonna, sure if this is going to work now but you see how he how if we motion across he kind of the streak kind of motions in a step and now we might have a chance to beat him but not with this size zone coverage so this is something that you can look out for. It beats, uh, it can beat uh, outside quarters, but you're very rarely ever going to get that. So kind of like my idea is just if you want to smart route it, you can then also motion it across. That's my next setup. You can motion it across. And now you, if you snap it right here, you have a post that gets in a nice area of the field. You can see right here, boom. If I feel like the curl flat kind of cheats on that, then I can adjust the uh, pass lead a little bit and pass lead it up the field. So if I snap the ball right here, you can see how I can make the read between uh, the drag and the post. And this then depends on what the opponent chooses to cover with his user. If he wants to cover the drag and is aggressive, then I'll uh, throw it to the post. But in this case, as he got bumped for an eternity, I'll just throw it to the drag and take my easy yards now. This is more kind of the stuff that I've been running. I don't see a lot of people doing this online, but I see... This setup, very popular, and it is run by pretty much everyone who runs strip side ends. You want to slant Hopkins, you want to put Kill on the post, you want to put Thomas on the hitch, and you want to put Jones on the smoke screen. Now, if I snap the ball, first read, as always, going to be that. Um, the issue, though, with that is sometimes if you don't have, if your opponent doesn't have 25 yard zone drops, uh, if there's not a corner out uh, taking that curl flat deeper, you can't really throw it to the uh, half back in the flat that is one thing that I've noticed so be careful with that if your opponent does not have zone drops on so now let's talk about the rest of the read um, you really want to make the read between 
always, of course, is if R1 is there, throw it to R1. But you want to make the read between the slant and the post. Um, really depends on what your opponent chooses to cover. This slant gets in a nice window that gets opened up by the halfback flat route. That is very nice, of course. And the post gets open, if I run this against cover 3 right here. This is all against cover 3. Gets open right here with a possession catch. Again, 99 zone, 99 play rec reacts to that in an instant. So that is why this looks so close. But believe me, you guys... I personally struggle so much with defending this also like this gets open along the sidelines as well with the pass lead down so that is one thing that is definitely that definitely has to be mentioned now if we look for the other reads let's say a slant halfback oh my god usually they uh, drop back a little bit more but I'll run this again and another read that you can you guys can make is yeah there you go now we have this a little bit better we can throw it to the hitch Generally, the hitch is going to be uh, have the job to uh, attract attention from the zone that's supposed to cover the post. So this might not always be open, but in this case, we can see how it almost gets picked by an acrobat. But this is a nice window where we can attack. The last read of this is uh, the smoke screen on the outside. This is only if your opponent gets really adjusted. Let's say he mans up. White's right here, he mans up Juquis guitar, and let's just say he plays that post, which this post also beats man coverage, but let's just say for the sake of sh for the sake of this video, this also beats, uh, this uh, get the post gets covered by man coverage. I can still hit that smoke screen, and I'm going to have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of yards. Everything other than out of this play is just uh, like, let's just say, other versions of this setup. I'll just streak Hopkins, I can smart draw Jones, and I have him on a deep in route and now if I want to motion across I'll have a better chance of getting that corner out open even more you can see right there actually yeah. um, with the streak he kind of got back there but um, of course in that case I would hit the flat route I just wanted to fit that in but I guess I can't so I'm gonna snap the ball gotcha pass lead it up the field my bad no nah ich nicht sorry I had to make a cut right there uh, that's pretty much all for Dublin Sale. I mean, these setups, even though they are not that many, they are a pain in the ass to stop, trust me. The absolute hell, let's now talk about PA Shot Post. That's going to be the next play that I want to talk about. And I'm going to start it off with a uh, man coverage, Peter. So I'll just come in and cover on hold for the sake uh, for the sakes of this video. And pretty much for every play in this scheme, we want to come out with the trips to the wide side. But for this one, we actually want it to the short side. Now we want to beat man coverage, so we want to put Hopkins on a uh, slant. We want to put Kittle on a on a crosser. We want to put McCaffrey on an option route, which is going to do an amazing job of beating man coverage. Actually, no, I don't like that. So I'll just block him, and you will see that this Z post motion over is absolutely going to kill man coverage. My God, it didn't kill it at all. It beat it. Trust me, you guys. People have been running this online, and it's very effective. But, because I have such a great team on uh, defense with just the best man coverage possible, you will see how this will be pretty difficult to beat still, but we can fit that in now, and then we will be good to go. This is just kind of the thing uh, that I do to beat man coverage over the top very consistently. But now let's go back to the regular setups, which are going to be very simple. We want to drag Hopkins, want to in route Jones, streak Kittle, and then block the halfback. If you want to make sure we can roll out, we want to double team right here. Now we will be good to go. So right here, boom, nice. Uh, this crossing route also beats main cover, so that is one thing that I should have mentioned. Actually, let me talk about this again. If you run this setup uh, like uh, this and you would motion over this, the uh, post on the outside, the slant, the angle, the crosser from the tight end and the crosser from the receiver, they all beat main cover. So this is pretty much the ultimate main coverage beating play. But to get back to the other uh, to this play right here, um, if we go to cover th three match, as we hit with top, now you will see how the crossing route gets open uh, against uh, curl flats if they are not 25 or 30 yards. Even if they are 20 yards, I can still pass lead it over the top. So this crossing route has to get a lot of attention to be covered. It doesn't get covered by man. And it also only gets covered by very specific zone routes. Now the other reads on this play are, are of course the drag and the in route. So I'm going to throw the in route right there. Probably in a game if I feel like my opponent sends a zone blitz at me. 
I would um, really look to hit either the drag or the in route. So snap the ball. Let's throw to the drag. It's really a simple read. In my opinion, this is probably the simplest read uh, you can have in this. But, yeah, another thing that I want to mention is that you can beat cover three along the sidelines. So, uh, one of the things that... I have gotten uh, into doing a little bit is this setup right here. I just streak Jones, I put Thomas on a flat, and I drag Hill. I block the halfback, and now if I uh, run this play, my bad, I'm still in man coverage. Uh, this is pretty much a play that's only good against cover three, but it is so good against cover three that I just have to show it to you guys. So I'm going against Cloud Flats right here on the outside just for this, just for the sake of this video, and yeah. Same setup, just snap the ball. And now you will see how this wheel route gets open in a very tender area. It is very important you have a fast guy on the outside to make sure uh, that a clear out guy uh, just drags away that zone. One more time, cover three match. And this time I'll shade over top. And this is kind of where you will see. Uh, my bad, it's not here. Sometimes uh, a flat will match that. So. I'll Try to see if I can get the flat route to match this time. Um, same setup once again. And sometimes, if it matches, alright, it doesn't match here either. Um, I remember briefly, or I remember a little bit, that the last few times that I tried this, it sometimes matched. But I guess not. I guess it doesn't match anymore. So again, this is a setup. Very, very simple. But let's get on to the other place. I want to talk about a nice uh, play that I have kind of gotten to like. You want to drag Jones. You want to put Hopkins on his on a hitch. You want to put Kittle on a crosser, and you either want to block the halfback or you want to send him out on a flat route. That is one one other thing you can do, but I just prefer blocking. And now you will see how this is an absolute main coverage killer, but I didn't want to run this against main coverage, so let's just go down. It's audible to cover three again. Just like that, boom. Now you will see how I can throw it to the crosser, to the tight end, or I can throw it uh, to my triangle. And even though the looks covered, if I run, if I roll out to the left, to the right side, I can beat that. So one more time, I'm gonna show this to you guys, and this time I'll actually throw it to them. My bad. Still zone coverage. All right, this is a bad look. Uh, I'll click. I'll quickly switch to cover three as my. Uh, main play so I don't have to keep audibling and I'll see you after the cut. Okay, so now you can see that I am still in uh, PA shot post, sorry for the cut right there, but I just could not, I was gonna forget to audible uh, for the next 10 plays, so that is why I did that. We want to zig Hopkins, we want to put Jones on an in route, we want to streak the tight end, and then we want to motion Hopkins across. This is kind of a variation on the last play. If you don't want to zig circle, <laughs> circle, oh, my bad. Pump fake right there, but still got that crosser open. If you want to zig circle, uh, then what you can, don't want to zig it, then you can uh, put Hopkins on a drag, Jones on a drag, Street Kittle, and have double drags, motion across, do the same thing. And motion snap right there, boom. Let's make, move the mic a little bit. Now you can see, we can throw both the drags. Uh, just make sure to not pick the one the user chooses or... Uh, to not throw drags at a hard flat. That is the one thing that you have to watch out for. But besides that, there's really not too much you have to worry about. Snap the ball. You can, if you want, try to fit that crosser in a little bit early. Well, actually, that didn't look too pretty. But, yeah, it's... Take it for what it's worth. It's double drags. It's a crosser. What's not to love? Now, let's go back to another uh, setup that we just ran. Uh, previously, uh, at tight end post, we want to get uh, get the tight end post open. We want to zig Hopkins. We want to put Kittle on a post. We want to put Jones on a streak. Uh, putting McCaffrey on a, on a, on a flat route is optional, but I'll do it. <sighs> Excuse me. Now I have the hiccups. I motion across. I snap the ball. R1 is open. Or if I want to wait a little bit longer, then I can throw that ball. Now this obviously looked a little bit tighter. Um... It is important you guys are patient with that. And if you see the zone dropping back, just take the uh, the zig route. So one more time, I'm going to snap the ball right here. I see the zone dropping back. All right, I'll just take my zig for a couple of yards. Nice. But 
these tight end posts they are one thing that you should definitely watch out for because they are a pain in the ass to stop i can tell that from experience i can tell you guys from experience and pa shot post again this really is about it for pa shot post there are some other ideas that you can do you can put hopkins on a, on, a, on the flat trout you can put kill on the streak put mccaffrey in an option route, motion across put jones on his slant now this is a concept that is very similar to one of another play but i don't really know if i like that this one too much just know there are some other things you can do that are also compatible with some other plays that i'll show future down the line uh, pa counter go will be one that is very similar to it because it has a very similar crossing route but start of the scheme i'm out pretty much i'm just going to show you one thing uh this inside zone it is a very nice run and i want to mention that and one thing that i have kind of found out is that if my opponent does that for example uh i can stop and then go and just cut it back and i get a lot of yards now how do you do that this is very uh this is very precise stick work that i kind of uh got to learn i went into practice more than tried this a bit what you want to do is you want to snap the ball just uh flick down on the left stick and back like flick down diagonally down to the right uh, to start off just for a second and then wait until he stops and then accelerate out of there it is really simple you just have to get used to it like it's muscle memory and one, one of the times when this actually works is if your opponent uh, wants to shoot the gap uh, can I do that I uh, wants to shoot the gap down the middle and now okay I see him <laughs> that looked actually that actually looked horrible my bad don't do it don't do that guys but uh, you guys that have been watching the channel for a bit know how to shoot inside zone out of many formations out of trips at end of trade by flex and this is kind of to counter those players um you don't want to run just into their waiting arms you want to do this and then boom accelerate out of there this is all i have for you for this very first part of this ebook again this is going to be totally for free merry christmas to you guys it's kind of like, like my gift uh, my christmas present for you guys that have been watching the channel for a long time who are better at the game who are not just beginning who are a little bit more advanced this is for you i hope you enjoyed the video even for the beginners if you enjoyed this video and if you feel like you're kind of getting better and you want to go back to this video i really encourage it because this is this is one of the toughest offenses to beat in madden 21 period especially out of las vegas raiders playbook i am out though i appreciate you taking the time make sure to check out mr humble's facebook group man competitive gaming i'm a partner with him now and we work together we kind of want to grow this brand so until then i see you in the next video goodbye